Hi, welcome to today's math lesson. We'll be looking at rounding whole numbers. The focus of the lesson is to learn how to round whole numbers. There are a few vocabulary I want you to take note of. First, rounding. Now rounding just means making a number less precise than the actual number. For example, John was asked a question about four different times and in all four, his answers varied. Now the question was this, how many pupils are in your school? His first answer was about 2,000. The second time he said about 1,900. And the third time he said, oh, okay, uh, about 1,860. The actual number of pupils were 1,863. That was the precise number of children. All the others were estimates. Now, rounding down. Now, when we say a number is round down, what that means is that you are keeping the target digit, the place value digit the same, by replacing the smaller digits to the right with zeros. And then rounding up means increasing the target place value digit by one and replacing the digits to the right with the zeros. There are three success criteria that will help you to round whole numbers. First, that you'll be able to identify the target place value digit. And second, that you can also apply the rules of rounding. Third, that you can even keep digits to the left of the target digit by replace digits to the right with zeros. Now, this is a rule for rounding. Find the place, look next door. Five or more, raise the target. Four or less, let it rest. How will you go about rounding this number to the nearest thousand? 8,246,315. Now, there are some few steps I want you to follow. First, find the place. Here, the place value you want to round to, and we are asked, we are told that is the nearest thousand. So, the if you look at the number, this is the unit column, that's the tens column, that's the hundreds column, and this is the thousand. So this is the place. Second, look right next door. Now from the target number, the right next door is a three. Now which of these am I going to apply? Five or more? raise the target, four or less, let it rest. I can see this number is less than four. So I'll let my place value target rest like that. And I'll re replace all the numbers to the right with zeros. So you can see numbers to the left are kept the same here and numbers to the right I replace with zeros. We have another number. It says round this number to the nearest 100,000. So the number is 6,789,562. Now I'm going to follow my steps again. The first step was to find the place. Actually it's in the question, 100,000. So if I look at my number, that's a 10, 
So that's the unit 10 hundred thousands tens of thousand hundred thousand so this is the place this is the digit that they want me to to round to and then i look right next door right next door to my target digit is an eight so which of these am i going to apply now eight is five or more it's more than five and what will I do then after? It says, um, when it's five or more, I'm going to raise my target by one. So I'm going to raise the seven to an eight here. And then the rest, I apply zeros. So if I round to the nearest hundred thousand, it should be six million eight hundred thousand. Now, what I want you to do is to pause the video here and round this number to the nearest 10. We'll look at the answers in the next slide. How did you do? Now, you were asked to round uh, 945 to the nearest 10. Now, if I apply my steps, you find the place. The place is 10. So this is unit under the tens column. And look right next door from my target number. If I look to the right, it's a five. So which of these am I going to apply is definitely five or more raise the target. So because this is five, I'm going to raise the four by one to make it a five. So actually my rounded number to the nearest 10 is 950. What I want you to do is to pause the video here and go and do the work. Now, what I also want you to do here, look at one of the questions that you did really well at. You rounded them really well. You got them right. Call a guardian or a sibling if they are busy and show them how you did it. Now, just as a reflection, were you able to identify the target place value digits? Were you also able to apply the rules of rounding? Were you even able to keep the digits to the left of the target uh, and then replace the rest with zeros. If you were able to do all that, well done. You can now round whole numbers.